These two snowflakes are exactly the same, only one has been done with crochet thread and a hook 1.5 mm and the other one with wool and a 3.5 mm hook. I have been using these for many things like attaching to Christmas cards or gift tags as well as tree ornaments. So let's make one. I'm using the wool here because it's easier to see as it's much thicker. Uh, I start by twisting to start a chain and then chain 8. Seven, eight. Then I attach it to form a certain ring, slip stitch there. Then I'll make a rounder trebles with chaining two in between, and that's trebles in the English sense, it's double crochet in American. First, I chain four, and that forms also the first treble. Then I'm leaving the yarn end inside the crocheting, so I don't need to weave it in separately. And treble into the ring. and chain two and again a treble into the ring and so on so you keep going just like this until you have all together uh, 12 of these counting the starting chain here so 12 all together so now there's 12 if you count all these and then again I'll close the row, chain 2 and uh, attach it to the start of the row. There, and later on I can cut this off. There's two different things you need to do. An alternate, a bigger this here and a small pico. I'll start with the pico. Chain 4. Then I count backward, backwards to the third, one, two, three, third from the hook, and uh, slip stitch there. And then again chain two, and go to the top of the next treble on the previous row, and a uh, slip stitch there. So that's that bit done, chain 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and now count backwards again, 1, 2, 3, and uh, slip stitch. This is the first pico of a set of 3. And then I'll chain again three and uh, put the hook through the first one of these, this chain there and a slip stitch. And the same one more time, one, two, three, slip stitch. So now I have a group like this of uh, three picots, one after another, and uh, to get the right shape I need to attach them at the base. So I'll put my hook through the stitch where I, where I started the first pico, like this here, and pull through, so that forms a 
like three picots like that. And then again chain four and uh, go to the top of the next treble and a slip stitch there. And simply you continue every second time you make one like this and then every other second you make one like that until the end of the row. So here we are. I've done the second row alternating the two different kinds of points and I'm on the last one here now and uh, I simply attach it to the start of the row with a slip stitch there and then I cut the yarn off. So here it is and I can cut this one off there and um, then I'll pass this with a needle and then um, most likely I will want to harden it, starch it and that you can do either with sugar and water solution so that you use half sugar and half water and bring it to the boil or else you can use half white glue and half water and dip it in that or you can use commercial starch in any case then leave enough time for it to dry so here are my snowflakes there 